People don't notice when it's winter or summer when they're happy. But on this day, the one that sat in the snowbank of a season-ending loss for the Patriots, the streets of Boston were decidedly Arctic. For fans, it was the end of Super Bowl dreams. For radio hosts, it was the end of hand-delivered conversation. While some appeared to embrace the pigskin-free landscape, others, such as Jerry Callahan and Kirk Minahan, trudged through their new reality with an anxiety usually reserved for those in Cleveland, St. Louis, or the football barren world of Los Angeles. How are we going to talk about the next two weeks? Callahan's question weighed heavy, stretching from show to show. What would they talk about indeed? Um, headlines. And probably Minahan's infatuation with Asian porn, I would guess. But then, out of the darkness, a ray of sunshine appeared. Uh oh. Ten minutes to showtime. Guys love hearing that thing. This is good. This is where Minahan gets here. They usurp all his space. Really pisses him off. So he's got to deal with that. I need space. Hmm. I guess Fred was here last night. Yeah. But while happiness inexplicably hovered over each John Dennis footstep, the others were left searching for material that eased the sting of a Patriots-free February 2nd. A transsexual inmate convicted of murder is entitled to a taxpayer-funded sex change operation as treatment for a severe gender identity disorder. A Florida teen, he's 18 years old, uh, was suspended uh, from school after they learned he is a porn star. Did you wind up watching that Kerrigan, Tanya Harding thing? No. It wasn't bad. I haven't. It, it, it wasn't it's bad. A it wasn't bad. It's worth watching. And with the Sochi Olympics just three weeks away, uh, Putin over the weekend, Promised that gay visitors would not face any discrimination in the country. But then came a gift. Should we just get to the announcement now? Sure, we can get, to, get up the to the man over there. Since, uh, I'm, not, I'm waiting in my car, Dino. Get to the announcement already. All right, well, this has been uh, scheming and planning for the better part of six weeks. The delivery of the present was thick with anticipation, with the presenter offering hints, clues, and conundrums, the likes of which would make Rubik and his cube blush one color. But then... With ample lightning and thunder, Dino delivered. And one by one, the waiters held oh, up a sign. Not, no, that's and the signs were revealed one after the other. Will you marry me, Kathy? And it was a big shock. And Dino, believe it or not, is doing something he said he would never do again. Wait a minute. Why do this? Um, I just think it's the right thing to do. I love I, her. I don't, I don't think he has an answer. No, <laughs> I think he stumped him. <laughs> I, I, I'll tell you what. The answer? Yeah. Vodka. That's what happened. <laughs> <laughs> the announcement had made New England forget its Super Sunday sorrows, instead rejoicing in the love of one of their own. Congratulations, Dino! <laughs> so I don't get why he's doing it, because I know he's not a nice guy. It's not because he's a nice guy. It's not a warmness from his heart. I don't understand it. It makes no sense to me. It eludes me. It completely f***ing eludes me.